on this week's video we're going to be talking about that thing there which is the battery on the Renault Zoe and how we can upgrade it so on this week's video we're going to be discussing the battery on the Renault Zoe mainly the 22 kilowatt battery and how it is possible to pay Renault money to upgrade the battery in the 22 kilowatt to the new 40 kilowatt battery this is down to the fact that Renault's new battery is the same size as the old 22 kilowatt battery and it's basically just a swap out they've managed to compress the chemistry in the cells of the ZE40 uh, to basically be the same size as the original 22 kilowatt so this allows you an option to pay money to have the battery upgraded and keep the current car but with a new and improved battery so part one we'll be talking about the benefits and disadvantages of paying for the battery upgrade and part two will be about the process of how it's done so one of the benefits of upgrading the battery is it's a little bit more eco it's a little bit more green you'll be recycling your old 22 kilowatt or Renault will be and your new battery means you're keeping your old car which means another car doesn't have to be made to give you a new and upgraded you know energy level on your vehicle which is a very very green way the most dirtiest part of any car is actually manufacturing that car itself now the second big one is is it cheaper and that's a way more complex question and it's going to take some while to explain this one so is it cheaper and yes it can be cheaper but it can also technically be more expensive and it's there's two ways of looking at it and if you're if you're like me and you're a little bit tight <laughs> then you'll want to know the full cost comparisons that I've done now I'm going to keep looking away because I've got notes here and I've got notes here so I can remember the figures off the top of my head but if you're looking at 2015 Zoe with roughly 10,000 miles in dynamic spec battery lease model you're looking at selling your car for around about six and a half top retail so let's just say six grand to six and a half is what the car would sell for if you're on a lease model and you want to upgrade to the ZE40 the price is roughly 3,500 euros so that converts currently because of Brexit to 3,500 pound if you have the I model you would roughly sell your 2015 i model car for uh, prices I've got here 11495 for an i model with same again roughly 10,000 miles and if you wish to upgrade that i model battery to a new ZE40 battery that would cost you 9,900 euros so again uh, because of the exchange rate that converts roughly to 9,900 pound so my first comparison between these two cars will be the 2015 dynamic lease model so it's worth six and a half grand to sell retail and you can buy a ZE40 on a 2017 as of today making this video for 13995 with 7000 miles that's a difference of 7495 so if you had a battery upgrade you'd roughly be saving four thousand pound by upgrading the battery rather than selling your car and buying a new one now this has some advantages that you're saving some money but then you've also got to consider that your car will be two years newer and will have slightly less mileage which means not only is it two years newer you're getting more warranty because the warranty will be still be available on the 2017 for a longer period but you'll also have a newer car so everything else will be in better working order or at least you'd hope so yes there's a saving there but not really now you can buy a brand new R110 model from the dealer with full um, Renault warranty etc as of today the price on my screen without any dealer negotiation is 17166 so quite a lot more than the days where about a year ago you could buy an R model Zoe for 12 grand uh, hard luck to anyone who missed out on them and hard luck to any person who thought they were overpriced then look how much they've gone up by now but that, like I said that's not without any dealer negotiation if anyone in the last week of this video has had a much better price uh, within a week quoted not past prices prices have gone up if you've had a price 
quoted on the Zoe recently, which is a lot lower than that, please let me know in the comments below because it, it matters to people who are thinking possibly about upgrading the battery. Next, we're going to look at the I model. Now, an I model, like I said, on 2015 is 11495 on a 65 plate if you own the battery outright. You can buy a brand new I model as of today, a new R110 I model for 22355. That is a difference of 10,800, which means if you upgrade your battery, you're only saving a thousand pound. So if you own the battery outright, you might as well sell your car and buy the I model. You might as well buy a new iModel ZE40 than upgrade your battery if you already own an iModel. Or, if you own a lease model, sell your lease model car, because there's plenty of people who want those 22 kilowatt battery cars still, and buy a new ZE40 iModel, because you now know that the battery tech is okay and it suits you. So do it. Personally, if you've got an iModel, it's a very, very easy comparison to make buy a new one if you're on a lease model the price differentials like that so I can understand why people would want to upgrade but why don't we talk about a few of the disadvantages and benefits the new ZE40 battery has heating as well as the active cooling now as far as I know when you upgrade the battery to the new ZE40 from a 22 kilowatt you don't get that advantage of the heating so you're losing out on something. If you're in a cold climate country like England, which they don't class as a cold country originally, you are losing out on that heating on the battery pack, which it might be worth just selling it and not upgrading the battery. Now the real advantage is going to be if Renault decide to start making a 50 or 60 kilowatt pack and charging the same price to upgrade it, and in which case there'll be a lot of 22 kilowatt owners that might upgrade because if they are going to change the battery pack it will more than likely always stay the same size it'll just be the chemistry compression gets better thanks very much for watching this week's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up check out the videos down the side here and check out the subscribe button which is here thanks very much and i'll see you again next week goodbye